Hello everybody, um, I thought I'd show you a quick overview of our new Turbo HTV vinyl. It's a new one, especially for the more heat sensitive fabrics. You can see here we've got a 100% a polyester top here. Um, very similar to what you'd find on your, your dressing gowns, your wedding sashes, um, any, any of the more delicate material. I've placed that over my heat press. And I'm making sure there's no seams that are going to get in the way of me being able to apply the pressure. I'm going to just preheat that just for a couple of seconds. Just to get rid of any moisture that may be there. That's all crumpled up. So I'll spread that out again. Okay. And then we have the vinyl that I've cut and weeded. It's a beautiful wolf figure from wild child designs i absolutely fell in love with that so i thought i'll cut this shows you how well it weeds as well because there's some fine weed in there so we'll find the center of the fabric and we'll place that on we're going to be given it just a four second press because it is a polyester mix it is 100 percent polyester um on 150 degrees just for four seconds you can use an iron um, take your iron temperature down a bit and apply medium pressure with your iron. So pressing down really quite firmly on your iron. Um, cover your carrier sheet that is on. Cover that with your silicone, baking parchment, um, anything that's just going to protect the carrier from coming in contact with the lid. And so my heat press is dead on 150 and I've set the timer for four seconds. So I'm going to press that down. You can hear the clicks, you know the pressure's there. And that is my four seconds. I'm going to lift that up, take my carrier sheet off, and we'll just wait for that to cool down a little bit. It says a, it's a, a warm peel, so don't be in too much of a, a hurry to take this off. And uh, oh, the heat's gone out of that. The idea of this is so it doesn't scorch your more delicate ones because the heat, the timing is a lot less. So you're less if you're doing your, like your bridal dressing gowns, uh, sachets and things, and you use them white, for instance, you're not going to get any risk of any burn marks. Um, if you're using an iron, I do suggest you do a test run if you possibly can first, just to make sure you've got your heat right on your iron. Because again, you don't want any scorch and you don't want any steam on your iron either. Okay, that's cooled down. It's probably still a little bit warm, but I'm going to risk it. And I'm going to take that off. And you can see that's coming away lovely. And peel that off. Take that down carefully. It's good if you can peel at an angle as well. For some reason, it does tend to come away a bit better when you use the angle. So I'm just peeling that off, and that was all that took was a four second press and not enough time to do any damage to the fabric whatsoever. And then, as per normal, I'm just going to put that silicone back over and just a quick two second press. So I'll just count one, two, and that's up. And that is totally finished. So it shows you this is the one to go for if you're going to be doing lots of bridal stuff, bridal gowns, personalised dressing gowns, uh, neck curtains, anything, anything which is more delicate. You can see how that... This is the um, rose gold one as well. It's absolutely beautiful in the flesh. It's not reflect the colour is not reflecting very well on the uh, on the video, but that is absolutely gorgeous. So that's our new three second turbo vinyl. Can be used with a heat press or with an iron, and it's available in quite a large range of colours on the website www.gmcrafts.co.uk. Thank you.